And we're live. What is going on, everybody? I am back again for our second stream today. Uh, this is going to be a good one out in the West between the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. Obviously, we just got finished up about an hour ago with Washington and Pittsburgh. And now we got our only other game in the NHL going on here. This is going to be a fun one between Colorado and Vegas. Colorado playing their first game back uh in a while because of uh, obviously covid issues on their team they haven't uh they haven't played in the last you know little while here they've had some time off so i'm really interested to see how colorado looks tonight against vegas who had some covid issues of their own but have been back and have played over the last week or so whereas colorado hasn't so other thing to note is vegas played yesterday so you know, that, that is going to play a role as well. Vegas played yesterday against San Jose. So, um, you know, they're on the second half of a back-to-back -back here, which is going to be interesting to see how that goes for the Golden Knights because obviously the second night of a back-to-back -back is never easy. Um, but we're ready for a fun game here. These are two good teams from out in the West Division. I think the two best teams in the West Division – uh, St. Louis is in first place now, but they've played more games. So they haven't had to stop the same way that Colorado and Vegas both have. I think over the course of the season, these will be your two best teams out West. And St. Louis is going to finish in third. Um, so this is going to be a fun matchup and interesting to see how these teams look. Tape to tape, Colorado, Sutton, Landon, Prosperous, Sal, Chanel. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate you all being here. As always, it means a lot. And uh, we're getting ready for a fun game here tonight. We got my, my buddy Sal from Behind the Arc Basketball in the chat. I don't know what's going on with that Daytona 500, but... Uh... Seems like that's still in a rain delay as far as I know. Um... Amber, what is going on? Joey, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in and watching. Very, very much appreciated. Remember to drop those likes and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so, so much and are greatly appreciated. We're getting ready for puck drop here between Vegas and Colorado. Salty is here. What's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much. Very, very much appreciated. Says let's go or go Avs. I know we've got some Knights fans in here as well. Uh, Sal says it looks like the Daytona 500 is going to get postponed until tomorrow. Uh, hey, if it's tomorrow afternoon, I might actually get a chance to watch it. So that might actually, for me, not be a bad thing because I'll have a chance if it's tomorrow afternoon to actually catch it. Sash is here. What's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. As you can hear, uh, my voice is pretty shot uh, from doing that last game. Double headers are never easy, but uh, we're going to power through here for a good West Division matchup here, and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun night, hopefully. So remember, guys, you know, share the stream out, tell your friends. Uh, we're trying to get to uh, we're trying to get to 4K subs by the end of February. Hopefully, we pick up some more during this stream. We gained. Uh, I think it was about 14 or 15 earlier during the Penguins Caps game. So uh, I'd love to be able to gain those again. Another, you know, numbers like that again during this one, that would be a 30 sub day, which would certainly help us get uh, get to that uh, the 280 or so that we need uh, to get to 4K. Vernon is here. What's going on? Zax, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for stopping. And yeah, I saw that, Sal. I saw the replay. Uh, big pile up on lap 15. Huge wreck already in that race. Um, Amon says Western Conference final matchup. Welcome, Amon. Thank you for being here. And um, Yeah, I mean, one of these teams is going to come out of that division. So um, we'll see how the seeding works out. But uh, one of these two teams is going to make it to the final four. Um you know, they're, they're probably going to play each other at some, 
in at some point in the probably the second round if the standings go the way I think they're going to it would be the second round of the playoffs where these two teams would play and the winner would represent the West Division in the final four um yeah next week these two teams are playing outdoors next weekend on Saturday uh, I'm really pumped for that obviously I'm going to be streaming both outdoor games next weekend so I'm excited, the 20th and the 21st. Those are going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm excited for outdoor hockey for sure. Uh, I, not much else to say. I'm just jacked up and ready for those. But we've still got a week of NHL action here. Before that, uh, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow for the Islanders and Sabres game. That will be the Sabres' first game in quite some time, assuming it does happen. Uh, it looks like it's going to be, you know, it seems like it's going to happen. Sabres have been getting some guys back. They've been practicing. So um, their first game in quite some time is going to be tomorrow night against the Islanders. And that is the NBCSN game tomorrow. So I'll be doing that one. Um, Tuesday, I'm not going to be able to stream on Tuesday. Uh, but Wednesday, I'll be back. I think I'm going to be doing a double header on Wednesday because there's two NBCSN games that night. So. Uh, that look that's what my week looks like and then maybe Thursday Boston plays the Devils on Thursday um, at least as of right now again the Devils have certainly had their own COVID issues although a lot of players are starting to come off of the list for New Jersey um, but Boston is slated right now to play New Jersey on Thursday so I'll probably uh, stream that game as well most likely and then obviously this weekend I'll be doing the two outdoor games. So uh, it's going to be uh, going to be a big week here. It's going to be a fun week here at Off the Wall Hockey. Um, again, just pushing, pushing, and pushing uh, to try and uh, try and hit that 4K subscribers, which we are starting to get close to. Um, we are right now. Uh, what's this? 273 subscribers away I believe uh, from that amount so uh, we're just trying to keep pushing here let's see yeah La uh, Landeskog uh, Gerard and Jost uh, Tyson Jost still on the list the COVID list for Colorado so obviously they're not playing tonight and Kale McCarr is out with an upper body injury so that's another huge loss for the Avs, not having their number one defenseman. Prosper says Penguins needed this win to be tied up with the Islanders. Yes, that, today was a huge win. That, today was a huge win for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They needed that. And, um, you know, another one in the win column for them against the Capitals. Um, and the Caps have uh, had a bit of a rough strat stretch here for Washington. Alex, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Brendan, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Darkness, thank you for watching. Uh, really appreciate everybody coming into the stream as we get ready for puck drop here. Should only be a couple of minutes away between the Avs and the Golden Knights. 100% dork, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here, as always. Um... Emma, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Great to see you in the chat. We are just about ready for puck drop here, guys. My second game of today. That Pittsburgh-Washington game was really good. Uh, so I'm hoping that this one's just as exciting and, and has some awesome action in it as well as we are getting close to the drop of the puck here. Um, Kyle, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, score prediction, I think this is tough because Colorado is playing their first game in forever and they're also missing key players out of the lineup. So that doesn't bode well for the Avalanche, but for Vegas, uh, they are, uh, they are playing the second game of a back to back here tonight. They played yesterday, so that doesn't really help Vegas, uh, or bode well for them because they're probably going to be pretty tired after playing uh yesterday and again today so uh in my predictions um i did pr pick vegas in my daily uh predictions on hgh's discord so 
I think the Vegas has a slight advantage here just because Colorado hasn't played in so long that they're going to be pretty rusty. So I'm going to say I'm going to say Vegas 4 to 2 in this one. I'm going to say Vegas 4 to 2, but we'll see what happens again, just a guess. But um I just think it's been it's been too long without a game for Colorado, and they have key pieces out of the lineup. No Landeskog, no Makar, no Sam Gerrard, no Tyson Jost. Uh, I think Vegas wins tonight. Yo, Michael, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Firestrike, what a legend. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Mikhail, welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I, I got Vegas in this one. I got Vegas 4-2. McKinnon is back for the Avalanche, but they're missing a lot. And they also haven't played in forever. Um, and you're always going to be rusty in that first game back, as we've seen with teams coming back from long layoffs. They're, almost every single time they're rusty in the first game. Uh, so I'm going Vegas in this one. Marc-Andre Fleury back in goal for the Golden Knights. Uh, should be Grubauer in net for the Avs tonight. Let's go, Boston uh, Bruins. What is going on? Welcome to the stream. And we are underway here. First period has begun. We are in Vegas. Colorado wins the opening faceoff. And we are underway as that puck is immediately iced here by the Avalanche as that pass does not connect. And Vegas uh, will get an offensive zone draw here coming up. Yeah, I hope it's a good game, Firestrike. Uh, the, the afternoon game between Washington and Pittsburgh was a lot of fun, so I'm hoping that this one is a great game as well. Um, Vegas here with an offensive zone faceoff out of the out of the gate here. Mark Stone, high slot shot. That one gets blocked. Rebound chance. That goes wide as well. Vegas keeps it in the offensive end, however. Hey, get the blue line. Belmar back now in his own zone. Takes it for the Avs. Good chip up. Avalanche out of their end now. Over the red line and thrown into the Vegas blue line, but Vegas sends it right back the other way. And Colorado has to try and break out again. Stolen there by the Golden Knights. But the pass back through the middle, no one is home for Vegas. They regroup in the neutral zone. William Carlson has it bounce off his stick into the offensive end. And we get a stoppage here. And let's see what this is. We got a whistle here early on in this one. Might have been offsides, Vegas entering the zone there. We'll see. NBC hasn't shown anything. Their teams are making line changes here. We're just about 42 seconds in. Oh, it's a penalty call against Colorado. I knew something was up there. It's a penalty call against Colorado. That's what everyone was confused about. Vegas is going to the power play. It's too many men on the ice against the Avalanche. And that's going to put that's going to put Vegas on the early power play here. So Vegas setting up now with a man advantage. Puck into the middle to flex up and out of play. We got a whistle. Gaming with Geo. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. 1911 left in the first here. Just getting going in this one. And it's a power play early here for Vegas. In to take the draw now. One back there. By the Golden Knights. And they're setting up in the offensive end now. Getting their power play. No, they lose it now. Great penalty killing there from Colorado. And they send it all the way down. That's a great clear there for the Avs on the PK. Just over a minute in now. Petrangelo. Pass up to Cody Glass. Into the offensive end now. And that's taken away again by the Avalanche. And cleared all the way down. Flurries in net again for, uh, for Vegas. Moved up now over the red line. Golden Knights back into the offensive zone. Stone into the middle there. That doesn't get through. Trying to find Glass in front. Avs take it away again and clear it all the way down. 
cleared again there by Colorado on this PK, and they've killed off the first half of this power play. Vegas now still on the man advantage for another 55 seconds, breaking through the neutral zone, trying to get it into the offensive end. Tuck, he gets around. Trying to get that puck into the middle. Avalanche keep it out of the dangerous area. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work very often uh, gaming with Geo. Not very often. Occasionally you get a couple a big goal or two out of it, but more often than not the other team ends up scoring. Setting up now. Long shot there. That one blocked down right in front there as Vegas tried to get it on goal. Kept in by Martinez at the blue line. Stevenson, long shot there in the middle from Riley Smith, and that gets stopped. Ten seconds of power play time left for Vegas. They're pouring on the pressure. Grubauer has to grab that one in front with a nice save. Eight seconds left of power play time in an offensive zone faceoff coming up here for the Golden Knights. Great stop there from Philip Grubauer. Uh, Riley Smith fanned on that shot for sure. He could have got a lot more on it. So one last offensive zone faceoff here for the Golden Knights on the power play. Avalanche win it back defensively, and if they clear, which they do, that just about does it. And we are going to be back to five-on-five five hockey here. Uh, Vegas unsuccessful on the first power play opportunity of the game. Into the offensive end now. Pacioretty after it. Vegas pass into the middle, stolen there by the Avs. Avs now with speed up ice back the other way. Into the offensive zone, and that gets whistled down for offsides. Flurry made the save anyway, and with exactly 17 minutes to go in the first, we have a stoppage here. And a neutral zone faceoff coming up. The Avs were just a little too early entering that zone. Uh, Michael, my cup pick from the beginning of the year was the Colorado Avalanche. And I will not change that until maybe the beginning of the playoffs or not at all. Uh, once I make a prediction, I don't change it. I'll do playoff predictions, you know, like a day or two before the playoffs start, but uh, my preseason prediction does not change. 16.45 left in the first, and that one gets moved up. Down in on Vegas, and that goes right in on Grubauer. Stone couldn't get there fast enough, and Grubauer just covers it up. We'll have an offensive zone faceoff for the Golden Knights coming up. Think it's time to crack this bad boy as we are underway here. We are underway here in the first period, 1640 to go in the first. Want to thank you guys all so much for watching. It means a lot. Cheers to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys all for being here. And let's hope this stream keeps growing and we keep growing the channel here. Cheers in the chat. Puck in the neutral zone. Vegas dumps it in. Fourth line out now for Vegas. Hard on the attack. Nicholas Waugh, Reeves, and Carrier out there for the Golden Knights. Into the offensive end now. Uh, Colorado clears it right back out. Now here comes Burakovsky for the abs. He shoots. Save Flurry, and he stops a rebound as well. Flurry with two big stops there on Andre Burakovsky, keeping this game scoreless. And now it's cleared out by Vegas as they go to the neutral zone, and they're going to get fresh legs on the ice. Colorado trying to bring it back in. Sent in deep behind the net. Flurry plays it now. Moves it up into the offensive end to Alex Tuck. Tuck, cross-ice pass, doesn't connect cleanly, but they play the carom off the boards. White Cloud pinching hard in the offensive end, and now we get a whistle here. And it's going to be a high-sticking call. The ref from the neutral zone called it, so I'm not sure what exactly this is going to be, but they're definitely calling a penalty here against somebody. The ref all the way back in the neutral zone calls it two minutes for high sticking against Connor Timmons. Vegas is going right back to the power play here. 
Vegas on the man advantage again now as Timmons picks up a penalty there for high sticking. And it's going to be only two minutes, I believe. But Vegas is going to get their second power play chance of the game. Chance there. Wow, right off the faceoff. That was so close. And Colorado clears the rebound all the way down. 15-10 remaining in the first. A minute 45 of power play time as Petrangelo brings it back into the offensive end for the Golden Knights. Down in the corner now. Stone and Petrangelo after it. Petrangelo comes away with the puck. Cross ice pass. Top of the circle. Bomb. And that one gets blocked. Under 15 minutes remaining in the first here. Stone hard on the forecheck. Devon Taves moves it by him though. Not able to clear the zone as it's kept in at the point. Now from behind the net to Pacioretty on the far side. Vegas setting up with possession now. Down to the half wall to Stone. Stone trying to go back to the blue line. He does. Petrangelo, long shot. That one gets gobbled up there with the glove by Grubauer. And we've got a whistle here with 106 remaining on the power play. And an offensive zone faceoff for Vegas coming up. So Vegas with some zone time here. What One shot went right off the post from Pacioretty. It got deflected clean right off the post and out. And that's when um, that's when they were able, uh, Colorado was able to clear it all the way down. And that's sent in again. Colorado, another clear on the penalty kill here. Under 50 seconds now left on the power play. Alec Martinez driving the play through the neutral zone now for Vegas. He drops it back. Stevenson's pass. That gets chipped away there by Colorado. And Colorado doing a great job on the penalty kill so far in this game. They send it all the way down again behind, uh, behind Flurry. 13.50 left in the first. It's moved into the offensive end. Uh, because I put it there, Alex. 15 minutes left in the 15 seconds left on the power play. Under four minutes remaining in the first. Pucks down behind Alec or behind Flurry Martinez now. Time no, nah, they're not even gonna get one more rush off. P penalty his uh, penalty's been killed. We're back to five on five hockey. The Avs PK successful again. Down on the half wall now. Golden Knights still in the offensive zone. 13.05 left in the first. That one gets moved up and out, though. Here comes Colorado. Three on two up ice. McKinnon into the middle. Pass back, though, to nobody. Gets stolen by, the, uh, by Vegas, and they're going back the other way. Dumped into the Colorado end now. Under 13 minutes to go in the first. Through the neutral zone now. In the Vegas end. Colorado on the forecheck trying to keep it there. Not able to. Mac out to neutralize. Two on one up ice. Vegas with a chance. Shot. Saved by Grubauer. Nice stop there, but Colorado couldn't exit the zone. Colasar's pass is a turnover, though, and they'll get another opportunity. Over the red line and just dumped in behind Flurry now by the Avs. Back over the red line, chipped in there by Vegas. Sydney, welcome. Thank you for being here. Much appreciated. Pucks in behind the net. Vegas in the offensive zone, hard on the forecheck here. Colorado comes away with the puck, however. They're looking to break out. Dumped in there, and Flurry just snags it with the glove. That's going to be a whistle, and we get a stoppage here with 11.41 remaining. 11.41 left in the first. We're going to have an offensive zone faceoff for the Avalanche coming up. But we are going to head to commercial break first as uh, we get our stoppage here and Flurry with the cover. So welcome, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. We have a 0-0 game between Colorado and Vegas here to start. 
Really, really appreciate everybody in the chat. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. It's going to be a fun West Division matchup here between these two teams. And uh, <laughs> Colorado playing for the first time in quite a while. Uh, Vegas playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. So they played yesterday and they play again. Or, uh, they're playing again here today, the Golden Knights are. So a little bit of a sluggish start, but I think that's what you would expect. I mean, you've got Colorado who hasn't played a real hockey game in a while. Uh, I don't remember how many days it's been, but it's probably been close to two weeks. You have Vegas, who's probably tired because they haven't, or they just played yesterday, and now they have to play again. Um, it's uh, it's been a pretty sluggish start, but I think both of these teams are still just trying to find their groove here. Grubauer's had a very, very good start to this game for the Avs. He's made some big saves. Chip, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you being here. Firestrike thinks that Mika Zibanejad is the worst player in the NHL. He's certainly not had a good start this season, that's for sure. Um, he, he's not had a good time so far this season, but uh, that's, I, I don't think it's quite an exaggeration saying that he's the worst player in the NHL. Uh, but he's had a really bad start. Avi, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Sydney, my steak was very good. Fantastic dinner tonight. Uh, appreciate all of you guys being here. We are back from the break now. Offensive zone draw for the Avs coming up. Uh, Lucic has actually been pretty decent for the Flames. Lucic isn't off to a bad start. I mean, he is... Lucic is what he is now. Nobody... Everyone knows he's a third or fourth liner at this point. Um, he has been for years. So, I, I mean, I would say Lucic has been pretty much as expected this season. He's not been bad at all. It's been a very, very, pretty much what you thought Lucic would be. Hey, Russia, uh, fan in here from Russia. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. Great to have you here. Colorado now breaking out of their zone. And that's taken right back, though, by Vegas in the defensive end, and they move it up over the red line, chipped into the offensive end. In behind Grubauer. We're under 11 minutes to go in the first now. Moved up now into the offensive end. Colorado with speed shot. Saved by Flurry. What a stop there. Huge stop there on the rush. Avalanche with a great scoring opportunity. Yeah, uh, Evgeny Malkin's had a really bad start to the year as well. He's been, he's been brutal. Ten and a half left in the first. Into the offensive end now. Long shot there. Easy save from the uh, sideboards by Flurry. He covers it up and we got 10.25 remaining in the period. 10.25 left in the uh, first and... We're going to have an offensive zone faceoff for the Avalanche. They've had a couple rushes here where they've come through with speed, but Flurry's made the save. That time it was McDonald. And that was a nice pad stop by Flurry there on the Avs' young player, young defenseman. Yeah, Kale McCarr is out with an upper body injury. Gabe Landeskog, Tyson Jost, and Sam Gerrard are all still on the COVID list. Um, so Colorado's down a significant, significant number of players here, uh, and important players too for this game. I predicted uh, I predicted Vegas to win this game four to two, because Colorado's missing a lot of important pieces. So that was my pregame prediction. Colin, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. We had just passed halfway point of the first. Out of the zone now comes Vegas through neutral ice and into the offensive end. Carrier tries to throw it into the middle. Chance there. Poked away. Sticked away there by 
Grubauer. He loses his stick, however, and is going to have to try and get it. Uh, Boston Bruins, what's going on? Into the offensive end now. Colorado back the other way. That pass into the middle of the ice doesn't connect. And Vegas brings it into the offensive zone again. Alex Tuck just gets it deep. Down in low now. Vegas trying to cycle in the offensive end. Colorado clears though. Good breakout chance. Here comes Jason uh, Magna now. Flurry has to make an easy stop there. And now Vegas is going to try the near boards for a breakout. Pass up into the middle. Stolen back, though, by Brandon Sod. Here comes McKinnon. McKinnon through everybody and just pushes it wide on Flurry. Wow. What, a, what an opportunity there for Nathan McKinnon. He just pushed it wide. Vegas trying to clear now. They go off glass, out to neutral ice, and just dumped in there over the red line. And they'll get fresh legs on here with 840 remaining in the period. Moved in now. Flurry stops it behind the net. Plays it up the boards. Vegas looking for a quick breakout. They get it. Pass up to Riley Smith now and dumped into the offensive zone. Vegas hard after it. Marcheso, Smith, and Carlson out there for the Golden Knights. Now back to the blue line. Long shot. That one just to uh, get stopped there and then paddled away. Paddled away by Grubauer as it was going to be sitting in the crease. Shot again. Grubauer with a blocker save. And the second chance opportunity goes high. Pucks in behind the net now. Carlson not able to get it. Colorado breaking out. They exit their zone now. Back to neutral ice. Up ice they go. Pass doesn't connect though. Just a little too far in front of Timmins. Moved back the other way. Vegas trying to break away there. Trying to get that breakaway pass completed, but it just didn't connect. Colorado now trying to keep it back in the offensive zone. A lot of up and down action in this one. Teams are just going back and forth without much for sustained pressure. Colorado gets it out of their zone pretty quickly here. Over the red line now. Dumped back in. Hitting is starting to pick up. Hitting is starting to pick up in this game here. We've got down to 7.15 to go in the first. Vegas can't clear. Avs with a shot. That one gets stopped on the way through. Down low now. Patchretti loses his stick. That allows Nishushkin to keep it in. Pucks behind the net. Colorado still with possession. Logan O'Connor. Back to the point. Now D to D. Devon Taves. Long shot. Pad saved by Flurry. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of these Vegas gold jerseys. Um just not not my favorite, Avi. I'll leave it at that. Not my favorite. And that's gonna be icing here against the Golden Knights, which means the puck's gonna come all the way back down to their end, and the Avs will get an offensive zone faceoff. Very good goaltending so far, Vernon. From both of these goalies, Grubauer and Flurry have both made some huge stops including that paddle save there from Flurry, or uh, from Grubauer, excuse me. That was a really nice job there to paddle that out of the danger area. Face off one back by the Avs in the offensive zone. Miko Rantanen's long shot blocked in front. Avs maintain possession, though. Six and a half to go in the first. We're still scoreless between Vegas and Colorado. That one goes, gets cleared past Bowen Byram. Vegas will get a much-needed line change. Back into the offensive end. Ranton and into the middle. What a chance there for Saad. And that one gets stopped by Flurry as well. And then that puck deflects up and out of play into the uh, Vegas bench. And we got a stoppage here with 6.13 remaining in a neutral zone faceoff coming up. But not before we head to commercial break. Another commercial here for Colorado in the Colorado Vegas game. Still scoreless here early in this one, but certainly not for the lack of chances. Both goaltenders staying strong, however. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Would really mean a lot if you'd hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. Oops. 
Hopefully we can get to at least 20 likes. We got 27 people watching the stream, but only 18 likes on it. If we got 27 people here, we should have 27 likes. It only takes one second to click that thumbs up, and it helps out the stream a ton. The more, the more likes on the video, the more uh, that YouTube shows it around to new people, and then the more people will join us for this stream. And we'll have more fun in the chat with more people here talking. Uh, hey, what's going on, Brad? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Very, very much appreciated. Means a lot. Great to see Brad back in the chat again. We're here in the first period here. Middle, or kind of getting towards the later stages of the first. Colorado and Vegas still tied at nothing, nothing. Great goaltending so far for both teams. Hey, Bruins fan 1966, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Very, very, very much appreciated as we're coming back from commercial break now. We've got uh, face-off coming up inside. So it went off of a Vegas stick and out of play because it's inside the Vegas zone. Uh, McDonald, uh, Avi, are you talking about Bowen Byram or are you talking about McDonald? Because they're both playing here tonight. As Vegas trying to get that puck out, not able to. Kept in by Devon Taves. Second chance opportunity, they do clear it out. Back into the offensive end now. Here comes Brandon Saad, but he leaves the puck behind and Vegas can clear back to neutral ice. Here come the Golden Knights. Stolen there, though, by Byram. Byram, pass up through the middle, and now over the red line comes... Colorado back into the offensive end, but Rantanen loses it. Vegas is able to send it back the other way, and Byron will have to try again. He goes D to D to Taves. Down to five and a half minutes left in the first period here. Puck Flurry just plays it up to Alec Martinez. Moved up through neutral ice now and brought into the offensive end. Vegas hard after it, but they were offsides entering the zone. We got a stoppage here with 523 left in a neutral zone draw coming up. Bowen Byram has already been very noticeable in this game. He's uh, He's been involved in the play a lot. He's had the puck on his stick a lot. Byram has been very noticeable in this game. Faceoff. One back by the Avs. Moved up over the red line. Sent back right in, though, by Colorado, but or by the uh, Golden Knights. Here they go, crossing the blue line. Carrier around the net, looking for a passing lane. Back to the point. Long shot. That one deflects in front. It must have got blocked on the way through. Colorado exits the zone, but Vegas retakes possession at neutral ice. We're under five minutes to go in the first. Dumped in there by Vegas, but that's going to be icing as nobody gets anywhere near it for the Golden Knights. And now the puck will come back down to their end, and Colorado will get an offensive zone draw out of it. Offensive zone draw coming up here for the Avs. Look, still looking for the icebreaker in this one. Both teams, great goaltending so far, and we're still 0-0. Face off. One back there defensively by Vegas. They go up and out. Cleared. Tuck after it, but Colorado's D sends it right back the other way. Golden Knights have to try and regroup again. Here they come now through the neutral zone. And Colorado sends it back the other way. Dumped in now finally by Vegas. Grubauer leaves it behind his net. Almost a turnover there, and it ends up being a turnover as Vegas takes possession now in the offensive zone. Connor Timmins, though, patient with the puck. Not able to clear, though. And now that shot gets blocked, and Colorado does get it all the way out this time. That's going to be icing, though, against the Avalanches. That pass does not connect. 4.13 left in the first. 4.13 remaining in the first here, and it's going to be an offensive zone draw for Vegas after the icing by the Avs. Still scoreless early on in this one. Vegas in to take the draw now. One back, though, defensively. 
by Colorado. They're looking to break out. They do. They send it up ice to the neutral zone. Vegas takes possession back, though. Trying to bring it right back in, and Stevenson is offsides there. We get a whistle with 4.03 left in a neutral zone draw coming up. Um, Eddie, what is going on as we head to commercial break here? Thank you so much for watching, Eddie. Great to see you in the chat, my friend. We are at commercial break here. Late stages of the first period. Colorado and Vegas still scoreless. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button, guys, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Helps out the channel so, so much and is greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. We're in the final minutes now of the uh, of the first period. Still scoreless, but there's been great goaltending so far. Flurry and Grubauer have both made some phenomenal saves. Yeah. Not a uh, not a really active offensive period, Joey, to say the least. Um, both teams are playing pretty well defensively, and the goaltending's been outstanding. So that's definitely a recipe for a low-scoring game. We're still here at commercial. Getting a nice T Mobile ad. And now we are back from commercial break. Is they're going to show some highlights of saves that have been made by both of these goalies so far? Uh, Avi says Vegas either scores five goals or one. Uh, it has kind of been that kind of season for Vegas. Like it's weird. It's hard to, it's hard to know if the, like when you go into a Vegas game, it's hard to know if it's going to be high or low scoring. Cause some of the games are like five, four, or five, three, and then other games are like one, nothing or two, one. So Vegas has kind of been all over the place. It just depends on you know, what kind of game they play that night. But obviously, so far, this one has been very low scoring with nobody having a goal yet. Colorado after it here in the offensive zone. Long shot there from Taves, and Flurry makes another stop. McKinnon with it now to Taves again. Top of the circle. Flurry with a big shoulder save. 325 now left in the first as the Golden Knights bring it out of their zone. Into the offensive end now. Petrangelo gets it deep. Both teams still looking for the first goal of this game. 3.15 left in the period. First period action, still scoreless. Taves just sits behind his net waiting for the Avs to get their breakout set up here. Also probably waiting for some teammates to come off the bench. So that's brought into the, Colorado, or the Vegas end now by the Avs. Sent in now, fighting for it along the half wall. Alex Tuck comes away with it for Vegas. Not able to clear the zone, though. Now have to try again. Puck's in the corner. Now they pass it up over the red line and brought into the offensive end. Now Kolasar after it. Hard on the forecheck here, the Golden Knights. Two and a half remaining in the first period. Good forechecking shift here for Vegas is... They're trying to get some established zone time. Taken, though, by the Avs. Jumping up into the play is McDonald as the Avalanche bring it into the offensive, or, uh, the offensive zone. But Vegas takes it away, and now they're able to clear quickly. Riley Smith can't get it deep. It's gloved down there by the Avs defense. Now the Avalanche coming back the other way into the offensive end. Magna drops it at the point. Now down low in the corner. Puck couple guys going after it. Vegas comes away with it. Vegas looks like they're going to be able to clear the zone here, and they do. Now they bring it into the offensive zone. March so all alone, and that shot goes wide up and out of play. I don't. I feel like Grubauer must have got a piece of that because March was was uh, walking in all alone there. Beautiful pass across, and no, I think he just rocketed it off glass high. I think Marchessault just flat out missed that one. 
I mean, he was a mile high if he did, but it looks like it came off the toe of his stick and was just absolutely a mile over the bar. Art, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. We've got 142 left in the first. Vegas with an offensive zone faceoff. Pucks down in the corner. Devon Taves gets to it first. Now D to D in the neutral zone. Martinez dumps that back in for the Golden Knights. A minute and a half remaining. Kadri out of the zone for Colorado. Taken back, though. Possession by Vegas. They try to bring it into the offensive zone. And they're offsides entering the zone. That's going to be a whistle with 122 remaining. We're going to have a neutral zone draw coming up here after the offsides. So just over a minute left here in the first. Chandler Stevenson wins that drawback. Alec Martinez plays it for Vegas. Into the offensive end now. Grubauer leaves it for Rantanen. Rantanen drops it behind the net. Pucks in the corner now. Play for both teams going after it. Vegas comes away with it. Shot there. And that one just somehow stays out. Colorado coming back the other way. Three on two now. Up ice they go. Pass into the middle. That one doesn't connect. Pucks in the corner. Rantanen's after it hard. Colorado gets it in, into the middle of the ice again. Long shot there. That doesn't get through. It's blocked. Vegas able to finally clear. Petrangelo over the red line. Art put the last $20 in his account on Vegas. So really, really needing a Golden Knights win here. 25 seconds left in the first period. We're still scoreless in this one. Reeves after it. Nice hit there. Kept in. No, not kept in. It's going to be offsides against the Golden Knights. Another neutral zone faceoff coming up with 19 seconds left. So it's been a scoreless first period so far. It looks like it's probably going to be a scoreless first period overall. As there's only a few seconds left in this one, but it's certainly not for lack of chances. Both teams have had... Uh, Significant chances in this one. Just the goaltending is really standing up well here. Both goalies have made some big stops. Brought in now by Colorado. Final 10 seconds of the first. Reeves back for the Golden Knights. Plays it behind his own net. Deed it to his defenseman. That's chipped up and out now by Vegas. The horn is going to sound. And that is it. End of the first period. We are still scoreless here. Nothing in going in the net so far in this one. And we are at the end of one, which means we have some time to kill in the chat while we wait for the second period to begin. Pretty good game so far. Um, obviously, no one scored a goal yet. And uh, so the goaltenders have made some huge stops, to say the least. J Dog, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Big Mac, what is going on? Welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have just entered the first intermission here between Colorado and Vegas. It's still scoreless here after one. Obviously, still a long, long way to go in this one. But we're going to get to hang out and chat for a bit here while we wait for the second to begin. And I just want to remind everyone to please hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so, so much and are greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you are welcome and wanted here. Avatar, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. My weekend's been good. I hope yours has been well. Uh, I hope things are going good for you. Um, great to see you in the chat. Thank you so much for stopping in. So we're here just entering the first intermission here. So we've got some time before the second period start. Hey, Hockey News Reports, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, this is my second stream of today. I did Washington and Pittsburgh earlier, and now I'm doing this game here tonight. And then tomorrow... I'll be doing uh, Buffalo and the New York Islanders tomorrow night. So 
Uh, double header today, only one game tomorrow, and then Wednesday I think I'm going to be doing a double header again, most likely on Wednesday. So busy week this week in the NHL, and busy week for me with streams too. Might might do the Bruins Devils game on Thursday too, um, because that would be uh, New Jersey could potentially be back for that one, if everything goes according to plan. And then obviously next weekend we have the two outdoor games, um, the twentieth and the twenty first. We've got the Lake Tahoe games. I will be streaming both of those games. Um, one on Saturday and one on Sunday, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Is a lot of fun as well as I'm. You can tell when I start to get tired because my words like don't make sense, or I start like slurring words together and not getting the full word out. Sounds so dumb. Um, you can definitely tell when I'm tired when that happens. But I stayed up till 3 a.m. last night, which is probably my fault. So I was at my fr I was at Josh's until uh, until 2:30. So um, I guess that's kind of uh, what I get is being tired today, and then having two streams to do today uh, is a lot. Uh, yeah, Avi, you're you're not wrong there. It's it's it is pretty similar. Um, they're very heavily reliant on their top players. They get great goaltending. They're good defensive teams. Uh, I, I would definitely say that you're not wrong there. Um, yes, Avatar. Um, Saturday's game is, well, it's not, it's, it's a home game for Colorado, but it's not at Colorado. It's at Lake Tahoe. So, uh, it's the outdoor game on Saturday. Uh, at Lake Tahoe, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then Sunday is supposed to be the Flyers and the Bruins. Uh, obviously, the Flyers are having some COVID issues right now. So um, if, uh, you know, th there has been a little bit of talk about them potentially needing to replace the Flyers in that game if they're not able to go and, and compete in that game. But I think that by then, I think that by next weekend, the Flyers should be back. So, um that will be a fun one next weekend as well. Uh, I did have a lot of fun, Sasha, that's for sure. Last night was a great time with my friends. It was a blast. Um, but staying staying up till 3 when you have two streams the next day. And, the I see, I could have slept till like noon or something, and it wouldn't have been a big deal because the first game wasn't until 3. But I had to get the two videos out this morning. I had to do games of the week and picks of the week before the game started for this week so it was really ha needing to do those two videos was the reason I had to get up so I didn't get to sleep that late because uh, I needed to get those videos done and then I had the two streams after um, so yeah it uh, it's been a long day but we still got two periods of hockey here in this one that's going to be a lot of fun and uh, I can't wait to see which team's able to come out on top. We've got no scoring so far. Uh, I play all the time, Sasha. Uh, that we're we're always always playing at my friend's house. So uh, I play a lot. I was not very good last night. It was a rough night in the uh, in the pong department. I was m missing a lot of shots I shouldn't have missed. Um, but uh, next time I'm over at Josh's, we'll uh, we'll get uh, we'll get a rebound performance. So yeah, I'll be streaming these two teams again in less than a week next Saturday. Um, next Saturday, I'll uh, I'll be doing these two teams again, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So th this has been a fun matchup here. The out the outdoor games I'm really excited for, just because like seeing seeing them play outside is so cool. Um, really does remind me of pond hockey. So I'm I'm enjo I'm enjoying that. J Dog is retired. There you go. I'm not ready to retire yet. Avatar's never played before. Well, Avatar, I have no idea how old you are, so um, I can't I can't comment on whether you should be playing it or not because I have no idea how old you are. But it is a lot of fun. Oh, Avatar is 49. 
Oh, so I I so obviously could play. Um Uh yes, CL, the Red Wings beat the Predators. Um yeah, Nashville's not very good, guys. Nashville is not good. Um I I'm not surprised when I, w I actually, I probably should have bet that game because I thought Detroit was going to win that game. Because um, I, I just, I'm not surprised when Nashville loses games like that because they're just not good. They're not a good team. Yeah, no, I, 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 I know, j Dog. I understand. Uh, oof. That's a tough question, gaming with Geo, because... Prime Crosby, Prime Crosby is like one of the, like obviously one of the greatest of all time. Uh, although McKinnon is so good too. And I feel like this is like just the beginning of Nathan McKinnon's prime. Like this is just the beginning of Nathan McKinnon's prime. So it's really kind of tough to say, but man, Cro Crosby in his prime was like generational talent McKinnon is so good, though. It's tough to say. They're both phenomenal players. Obviously, Crosby's kind of fallen off a little bit, at least in the sheer number of points that he's able to pick up um, because, you know, he's in his 30s now and past his prime, but um, still a phenomenal player. And McKinnon, I think, is, like, just entering his prime right now, like, Nathan McKinnon for the next three years is going to be like I think the best that we ever get out of Nathan McKinnon so it's kind of hard to say what that will be uh Revenite what is going on welcome to the stream thank you so much for watching really really appreciate you being here great to see you in the chat we're here at the first intermission between the first two periods obviously uh, zero zero game so far between Vegas and Colorado. Still got 40 minutes of action left, though. Obviously, uh, plenty of time for one of these teams to get out and, and get a um, get out and get a lead in this one. Chris, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Bradley, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Very very much appreciated. Great to see. Some uh, some great people in the chat here tonight. This is my second stream of the day. Uh, did the Washington Pittsburgh game earlier, so if I come off as a little bit tired, it's definitely because I am. Uh, so still trying to bring the energy though and have some fun for this one as we're waiting for the second period to begin. Would really uh, would really mean a lot if everyone would drop a like and on the stream and make sure that if they're not subscribed that they do hit that subscribe button it helps out so much um yeah Avi. i mean i picked the bruins to lose that game so i was spot on with that a second game of a back-to-back -back was the ideal time for the bruins to lose there and i think they'll get back on track in their next game uh islanders are starting to look like the islanders again which is really good to see for them um, because, you know, uh, Isles are a solid team. Like I, yeah, J dog's right. Like there's, there's no Austin Matthews. There's no Nathan McKinnon. There's no, um, you know, Steven Stamkos or Nikita Kucherov. Like they don't have the superstar talent really. I mean, Barzal is a really good player, but he's not up at the level of guys like McKinnon, Crosby and, and, um, you know, Matthews and guys like that. Um, Uh, but the, the, uh, Islanders are just such a well-rounded team. They're such a well, well-rounded team. Um, and they just, they play a great defensive structure and everyone buys into that system and it wins them games. Um, Hey, Connolly, thank you so much for subscribing. Really, really appreciate that. Everybody, please give Connolly a warm welcome in the chat. Uh, really, really appreciate our newest subscriber and give some sub hype as well. That is awesome. Welcome to the channel. Um, 
Caroline, what is going on? Welcome back. CL says, say Hines is fired by the Preds today. Besides an interim sub, who would be a good fit for coach? That's a really tough question. There aren't a lot of, I don't know, there, there aren't a lot of huge free agent coaches available right now. I mean, obviously everyone's going to talk about Babcock, but I'm not a big Babcock fan. Um, maybe Bruce Boudreau, although Bruce Boudreau throughout his career has struggled at getting the most out of teams that he should be getting the most out of. So, um, you know, uh, Bruce Boudreau's kind of almost done better when, well, I guess maybe the expectations are a little bit lower. Well, he's, he's really had issues in the playoffs, but at this point, the, the, um, what am I trying to say here? That Preds would just be happy to make the playoffs. So I feel like Bruce Boudreau could maybe be a decent uh, one there. R asks, who are your top five teams right now? Uh, right now, I would say uh, Boston, Tampa Bay, Toronto. Um, I don't know. It's hard to judge Colorado because they haven't played in so long. They're just coming back. Normally, I would have Colorado up there, but they haven't played in a couple weeks, so it's hard to say. Um, Florida's got to be in the discussion. Um, they've been, you know, they're off to a ridiculous start. Didn't have a good night last night, but they're off to a ridiculous start. Um, Montreal's kind of cooled off a little bit, but they've still been good. Um, Philadelphia has been pretty decent. Um, Vegas obviously is right there. Vegas is really good. It's hard to say. It, with teams having like with teams playing so many different numbers of games so far, it's kind of tough to it's kind of tough to uh, judge that a lot of the time because some teams have only played like ten or eleven games and other teams have played like fifteen. So um, it's it's not all based on record because you know just the disparity in numbers of games played. Um, Logan, what is going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, the Canucks are brutal this year. I, I was so wrong about this Canucks team. Um, they are an absolute disaster this season. Um, Logan's here. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, Gallant, I, I just think, I think Gerard Gallant is the best coach available on the free agent market, but I don't really talk about him with like other going to other teams because I think Gerard Gallant's going to Seattle. I've been saying this for over a year now or pretty much as soon as he was, as soon as he was fired by Vegas. And I, I just think that he's going to Seattle. Um, I, I think he's just going to, I don't want to say it's not a guarantee because obviously I don't know that for sure, but all signs and my, everything that I, I can think of, is, is gearing towards Gerard Gallant going to Seattle because he would have a coaching job already if he wasn't holding out for that Seattle job. Um, I Because he I think he's the best coach available. So he would easily have a job already if he wanted it. I don't think he wants it. I think he's waiting for Seattle to come in next season and he's going to be the coach of the Kraken. And he's going to try and do the same thing in Seattle that he did in Vegas. Um I, I just, that's what I think is going to happen. I think that's why he's still on the free agent market because he's not accepting a, another job. Jaden, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. I'll get ready for the second now as uh, we're going to be back under, whoops, back underway. Here very shortly, scoreless game so far between Colorado and Vegas, but it's been a fun one. Um, uh, Jerry hasn't looked that well so far. I mean, he got the win today, but you're right; it hasn't been it hasn't been an overly impressive start to the season, to say the least. Revenite, I'm with you on that. Um, I think you know Pittsburgh's one of those borderline teams. They're they're a good team. They're not a great team. Um, There's holes in that roster for sure. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how the rest of the season goes, but you're right. Jerry hasn't looked great. It's certainly not the performance that he's put on 
that he's put that he put on last year when he was an All Star and looked uh, really really good. Avi says Tampa one, Boston two, Avalanche three, Vegas four, Canes five, and Leafs six. I mean, I I mean if if you wanna. I mean, you could make a you could make a case for that, and um, if you're just basic looking on roster at rosters or whatever. But if you look at if you look at how teams have played this year, Toronto is no question top three. Toronto has easily been one of the top three teams so far this season, based on how they've played. Um, so it, it depends on what your criteria is. It depends on what your criteria is. If you're looking at rosters or if you're looking at records so far this year, those could be definitely different uh, different rankings for sure. All right, we're back for the start of the second. We are, start, are ready to start the second period here. Still scoreless between Colorado and Vegas. And uh, this is going to be a fun rest of the way here. Some huge saves, some huge saves. For both goaltenders in that first period, Flurry with a few, Grubauer with a couple that really were big, big stops. So I'm excited to see how the rest of this uh, rest of this game goes. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Jacob, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much, much appreciated. Here we go now. These teams lined up at center ice, and we are underway here for the second period. Vegas now dumped in. Tavon Taves plays it, though, for Colorado. They send it right back out. Up ice now. Avalanche, they can't maintain possession. Kept in the zone, however, at the blue line. Vegas trying to get a breakout going. They move, not able to move it up, though. Avalanche into the middle. Shot there, and that one goes wide. Good chance there for Colorado. Ranton and after it in the corner. Long shot again from the point. That one gets blocked wide as well. 1925 left. Just starting here. Just starting here in the second period. Scoreless so far between Vegas and Colorado. And Colorado will have to go back and regroup in their own end here. Up through the neutral zone. Vegas takes it. Riley Smith into the offensive zone. Marches so with a shot. That gets deflected wide. Vegas trying to keep it in the offensive end, though. Not able to. Now at the blue line, Colorado can't clear. Donskoy just couldn't get to that puck fast enough. A little over a minute in now. Jack, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated. 18.35 left in the second. Colorado off glass and clears that one out. Back to the Vegas end. They have to go back here and regroup. Right back up into the offensive zone, though. Pacioretty, three on two shot. And Pacioretty scores! It's 1-0 Vegas. What a shot! What a shot there from Max Pacioretty to give Vegas the 1-0 lead. Absolutely beating... Grubauer uh, short side there on the glove hand. Just a nice low hard shot that Grubauer can't get the glove on. And that is a goal for Vegas and they are up 1-0 over the Avs. Max Pacioretty's seventh goal of the year gives Vegas a 1-0 lead here. Early in the second period. And now we are back underway. Colorado trying to answer it. That's a long shot from Logan O'Connor. Easily gloved down by Flurry, but he's going to cover it up and take the face off. Ozone draw for the Avs coming up here. 18-12 left in the second. Yeah, Jack, just in time for... Um, just in time there 
for a the first goal of the game. The only goal of the game so far. Cleared there by Vegas. They're going to try and break out of their zone now with possession. Two minutes into the second. Over the red line and now into the offensive end. But that was definitely offsides here. And now we've got some pushing and shoving after the whistle. As one of the Vegas players got absolutely decked there right at the whistle. Looks like it was Coughlin. And Ryan Graves was the guy who laid him out, and the uh, Golden Knights have something to say to Graves about that. Uh, looks like it, Jack. Yeah, you and Vernon seem to be the only mods in the chat. Um, I'll, I'll say this right now. Mods who are inactive, I think, are going to get unmodded. Uh, mods that don't actually show up to streams and do anything, I think are going to get unmodded. And uh, I'm going to add new mods to replace them that will actually be here. Because uh, there have been way too many times where there's only one or two mods here. And there's a lot of, of them that are just not... You're lucky to see once, or, once a week, if that. Um, so I think I'm going to be adding some new ones here. And getting rid of some that... Uh, don't deserve it anymore because they just don't do anything here. No, it, it's not harsh, Mikhail. They they signed up for a fucking job. They signed up to be mods on the channel. I did not make anybody mod that did not want to be. I told them all it was it was up to them. It was their decision. If they wanted to be it, then they had a responsibility. And if they don't want to show up, then they're getting unmodded. They should not be mods if they're not going to do their jobs. I'll replace them with people who will do the job. So it's not harsh. It's the way it is. If you don't do your job, you get fired. That's life. If you don't do your job, you get fired. Welcome to life. If you don't want to be mod, that's fine. I've never made a chance here for the Avalanche. Cross ice pass and it doesn't connect. Nice defense there. I've never made anyone mod who didn't want to be it and didn't ask for it. Everyone who was made mod asked for it. And if they don't want to hold up their if they don't want to hold up their side of the of the deal, then they're just gonna be gone. It's pretty simple. They can still be on the channel. They can still watch. There's no um there's no issue with that. Like, they can still be a p here, but they're not going to be mods if they're not going to actually mod. Sixteen ten now left in the second. Dumped back in by the Avalanche. Trying to get this goal back and tie this game back up. Six. Long shot there from the blue line. That one got deflected wide. McKinnon comes away with it. Chance here. That pass to the back door doesn't connect. Mason, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, Mason. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Long shot there. Colorado, big stop there from Flurry. Daniel, what is going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Great to see you guys in the chat tonight. Don Scoy now trying to get a pass across. Good back check, though, there from Riley Smith. Stopping that chance. Sent back in deep now. Colorado, after giving up that goal, has had a lot of offensive zone time here as Vegas finally chips that one out. Under 15 now to go in the second period. Vegas, though, not able to keep it in and have to go back and regroup in their own zone. Good forechecking pressure here from Colorado. They have had a lot more jump in their step these last couple minutes as they're trying to get this goal back. Mm. 
Now here comes Vegas out of there, trying to break out of their zone. Yo, Ray, bro, what is good? Welcome, Ray, bro. Thank you so much for watching, man. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, yes, Petrangelo is back for uh, for Vegas. Uh, yes, Daniel. Welcome, Ray, bro. Thank you so much for stopping in, man. We're down under 14 minutes here. That's going to be icing against the Avalanche. Offensive zone draw for Vegas coming up here with 13.55 remaining. Ozone draw here for the Golden Knights. Colorado trying to win it back defensively. They do. They're looking for a breakout now. Four check coming from Vegas, but not able to take the puck. Into the offensive end now. Here comes Colorado. Pushed off their stick, however. Moving back the other way. Vegas out of their zone. Deflected in. No icing on the play. Grubauer leaves it for Taves behind the net. Devon Taves off the boards. Not able to clear, though. Vegas keeps it in. Second chance to clear now for Colorado, and they do get it out. Moved up here now. Vegas chipping it back through the neutral zone. Into the offensive end now. Dumped deep. 13 minutes remaining in the period. Colorado now trying to break out of their own end. Through the neutral zone. Up. Not able to bring it cleanly in. That's offsides entering the zone as we have a collision at the blue line. And that's going to lead to a neutral zone faceoff with 12.51 remaining. Believe we're going to head to commercial break here. 12.51 left in the second. 1-0 Vegas on a goal for Max Pacioretty. The only scoring in the game so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. Uh, R, I only have my personal Instagram. I don't have an Instagram for the channel or anything hockey-related like that. Uh, I only have my personal Instagram, which, I mean, if you want, it, it's public. I can throw it in the chat if you want it. Um, but there's, there's no channel IG or anything. I do have a channel Twitter. It, uh, it, keep, it pops up in the chat. And it's in, the link's in the description as well if you want like a channel Twitter. But Instagram's just my personal one. We are here. Second period action. Closing in on the halfway point of this game or thereabouts. And Vegas holding on to the slim one goal lead at least for now. Um, I was just going to look something up and I don't remember at all what it was. Jamie, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Very much appreciated. Cooper, welcome. Thanks for watching. I mean, yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Doesn't, <laughs> sure, doesn't really matter to me. You can say whatever you whatever you want in the chat as long as it doesn't violate the rules, and I don't think you're going to do that. So we're back from commercial break here. Vegas holding on to the one-goal lead, and uh, we got a neutral zone face-off. Moved up now through the neutral zone. Vegas into the offensive end. Just on side. Stone with it. Cuts to the middle. Pass to White Cloud. White Cloud shoots in. Big stop there from Grubauer. And it goes up and out of play. With 12.31 with remaining in the second. Uh, I am from Massachusetts, Jamie. I am a Boston Bruins fan. and uh, But on this, this channel's for everybody. I cover the entire NHL. 
So this channel's for all hockey fans, but I'm a Bruins fan from Massachusetts. Offensive zone draw here for Vegas. 12.31 left in the second. Vegas now cycling in the offensive zone. Poked away. Colorado trying to get it out. Burakovsky not able to clear, however. Now down behind the net. Marcheseau in the corner. Trying to get a pass back to the point. It hops over White Cloud's stick. And now Colorado's chasing after it. White Cloud gets to it first, though. Avs are going to get a line change. Here come the Golden Knights back through the neutral zone. Dumped in here. Oh, yeah, I figured the Avs would be rusty in this game, j Dog. Absolutely. So we've got Vegas setting up in the offensive end here. Blocked down on the way through by Colorado. Carlson after it. He can't maintain possession. Good pinch, though, here from the Golden Knights. Riley Smith with a shot, and Grubauer makes a save. 11.37 remaining in the second period. Oh, nice. Somerville. Yeah, I, I know where Somerville is. Uh, up in the uh, the suburbs of Boston up there, uh, Bruins fan. That's that's pretty far north of me. Um, I'm an hour south of Boston down in the south in southeastern Mass, Bristol County. Um, so I'm actually much closer to Rhode Island than I am Boston. But um, I, yeah, I, I know where Somerville is on the map for the most part. Vegas dumps that right back in after the faceoff. And we're going to get a stoppage here with 11 and a half remaining. It looks like they might have been offsides entering the zone. And uh, we're going to have to uh, get a faceoff here coming up. Hope Glory, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Very, very much appreciated. As that's brought in now by Colorado, and they are offsides. So. Just six seconds later, we'll get another face-off. And uh, one in the neutral zone yet again. Uh, absolutely not, Jamie. That would be one of the worst trades of all time. Kale McCarr is not going anywhere. Sharaf, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Very, very much appreciated. Colorado clears that out. Brought in now by Saad into the offensive zone. Drop pass from McKinnon. And that gets cleared out to neutral ice. Stolen though there. Too much... Too much dancing by McKinnon in the offensive zone, and Vegas steals it away and is able to clear. So now Colorado has to regroup. Long shot there, blocked on the way through. Colorado trying to find the rebound. Vegas is able to clear it out, though. Reeves and Carrier now... Not able to maintain possession, though. Good job here for the Avalanche. Getting it back through the neutral zone. McDonald dumps it in. Pass into the middle. Shot here. Chance. And Flurry makes the save. We're going to have a penalty call against Vegas, however. It's a holding call here. And Colorado is headed to the power play. So Colorado is going to get their first power play opportunity of the game here. Down by a goal. And that was a great opportunity. Flurry made a big, big save. But it's going to be a holding call here against Alec Martinez. And that's going to put the Avs on the power play and a chance to tie this game up. Ten o two. We are almost to the ha halfway mark of this game. And Colorado would love a game-tying goal here on the man advantage. That would certainly be huge for them. 
Hey, what's going on, THG? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you so much for watching. Very, very much appreciated. Back to the point here. Into the circle. Av setting up in the offensive zone here. Hey, Hope Glory. I'm from Rehoboth. So, that's, uh, you, you guessed. You guessed properly. I am, uh, I am from Rehoboth, Hope Glory. Avs, good clear here by Vegas on the penalty kill. Avs have to bring it back through the neutral zone. Into the offensive end. And that's taken away now by Vegas on the penalty kill. Shorthanded chance now for the Knights. Shot! That one gets deflected up high and goes out of play. 101 left on the power play. 903 left in the second. That was a good chance. Shorthanded for Chandler Stevenson. But it just gets poked away or deflected away on that as he takes that shot at the last second off of Devon Taves' stick. And uh, that's going to bring us to an offensive zone faceoff for the Golden Knights who are down a man here. Uh, Colorado, we'll see if they can do anything with the second half of this power play, um, but they haven't been able to get much going yet. Vegas wins the drawback. Petrangelo in the offensive zone, fires one. That gets deflected up and out of play again. Oh, that's cool, Hope Glory. Yeah, I know, uh, I know Rainham very well. Oh, wow, j Dog, that's really cool. Chris Higgins was a pretty decent player back in his day, for sure. That's really cool. Yeah, he played for uh, he played for a few teams. He went to the finals with Vancouver. Uh, he played for Montreal for a while. I remember him very well with the Canadians. Higgins was a solid NHL, or, you know, good kind of third-line type guy. 8.40 now left in the second as Colorado's running out of time on the power play here. Coming through the neutral zone with speed. 30 seconds left on the man advantage. And they're offsides entering the zone. Or no, we have a penalty here. It looks like Comfer might be picking up. It looks like the ref had his arm up. I think, uh, I think, oh no, it's Timmins, not Comfer. Timmins headed to the box here. Comfer was the one carrying the puck, but they're going to call interference against Connor Timmins, and that is going to mean we're going a four on four. So we're going to get a little bit of four on four time here. Whoops, I got to get rid of the power play. Uh, Jamie Noble, no, this is uh, the only game in the NHL right now. Uh, I do not watch EIHL very often, Jamie, no. Uh, I focus on NHL and AHL. Um... So that's an interference call here. We're going to get 30 seconds of four-on-four four time. Riley Smith in it, the offensive zone for Vegas. 20 seconds left on the four-on-four. Four. In deep now. Vegas is going to get an abbreviated power play after this four-on-four four ends. Five seconds left here, and then we'll go to a Vegas power play. And that's going to do it. Four on four is ended. Vegas is setting up on the man advantage. Cleared out, though, by Colorado. And now Vegas has a little over a minute left of power play time. 7.45 left in the second period. Hey, Chase, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. Here we go now. Vegas still with 55 seconds of power play time back into the offensive zone. Trying to get through there, but good defense from Colorado as they collapse down. Now they're going to try and clear it. Taken away, though, by Carlson. He gives it away, though, to Belmar. Belmar can't clear the zone. Colorado tries again, and this time they send it all the way down. Hey, Jamie Noble is from Shelburne, Ontario, Canada. That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. 
Yeah, I don't know what he was saying in the chat, but if you're going to spam in the chat, you're going to get timed out. Yeah, he just kept saying the same thing over and over. If you spam in the chat, you will be timed out. That is what the mods are here for. Um, 639, Grubauer covers, covers that one up. Vegas with a few seconds of power play time left here, but so far so good on the PK for the Avs. Wow, that was a really nice glove stop by Grubauer there. The puck got deflected up, and Grubauer had to snag that from an awkward position, and he nabbed it with the end of his glove. So eight seconds of power play time left here for Vegas. Running out of time. They do win the offensive zone faceoff, though. On the half wall. Almost back. Chance there. Big save by Grubauer, and he covers it up with two seconds of power t play time time left 633 remaining in the second really nice stop there from Grubauer keeping this a one goal game down to March or so in front and Grubauer nabs it with the pad and then covers it with the glove two seconds of power play time left which means Vegas is pretty much out of time and we're back to five on five hockey already so Vegas unsuccessful on the man advantage and Colorado is back to full strength as Timmons comes out of the box. Long shot there. That one gets grabbed in the glove by Grubauer as well with 621 left. And we'll have another offensive zone faceoff coming up for the Golden Knights. But not until after this commercial break as it is 1-0 Vegas here. Late stages of the second period. And uh, we are going to commercial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help the channel so much and are greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter uh, no matter what team you're a fan of, you're a welcome and wanted here. Um, it, if only if they repeatedly do it, Mikhail. Only if they only if they repeatedly do it. The first the first step is just a timeout. Uh, there is no set schedule, Hope Glory. It just kind of depends on what games are on TV and when I'm available to stream. There is no real set schedule. I t pretty much take things week by week for the most part. Uh, and then I, I post on my computer, I, I, I post on my community tab the morning of what, if I'm streaming that night in what game, but. Uh, there's really no set schedule. It completely depends on what's on television, and it completely depends on when I'm available. Like I can tell you, this week I'm doing uh, I'm doing the Islanders and Sabers tomorrow night. I can tell you that I'm not going to be able to stream on Tuesday night. Uh, I have something that night. Um, Wednesday, I'm likely going to be doing a double header with both NBCSN games. And, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the second game, but I'm probably going to do it. And then Thursday, I'm thinking about maybe doing the Bruins-Devils game on Thursday, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. But most likely, probably will end up doing that. I don't think I'll have anything else on Thursday night. Um, and then this weekend, I'll be doing the two outdoor games this weekend. Uh, the uh, Saturday game between these two teams and then the Sunday game between the Bruins and hopefully the Flyers, um, I'll be doing them this ne or next weekend. So, Nicole, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. I pretty much take it week by week on what games I'm able to do and which ones I'm not. Vegas now, puck in the neutral zone. Back into the Colorado end. On sides. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it completely depends on what's on, when I, what's on TV and when I'm available. Under six minutes now remaining in the second period. Colorado in the offensive zone. Pouring on the pressure here. Good four check. They got to try and get a good quality chance out of it, though. Long shot there. Flurry makes the save and the rebound chance goes wide. Well, there's... Certainly was a good chance for the Avalanche with that one. 5.35 left in the period. Avs still in the offensive zone here. New, 
putting on a second line out there. Kadri, Burakovsky, and Donskoy putting on a ton of pressure. Vegas, so trying to clear the zone. They're able to get it out. Three on two off ice, but it's just dumped in as they go for a line change. 5.15 remaining in the period. Turnover behind the net. Vegas in front, and it goes off the heel of his stick. Oh, my God. Riley Smith would have had a point-blank chance from the slot, and it rolls off his stick. And now Colorado exits the zone. McKinnon up ice to Brandon Saad. Or no, it was, excuse me, it was Saad to McKinnon. McKinnon takes a hit now. Martinez trying to clear it for Vegas. They get it up and out. Under five minutes remaining here in the second period. Marchessault stops and turns around. Chance here for the Golden Knights. Trying to get it into a dangerous area. And Riley Smith has no passing lane. He just dumps it in. No, this is not an outdoor game. Outdoor games are next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Shot there, and that's a big stop from Flurry. And we get a stoppage here as he covers it up. Offensive zone faceoff for the Colorado Avalanche coming up here. But I believe we're going to have our final commercial break of the first or the second period first. Let's see if they do, in fact, head to break here. They do. And um, action at both ends of the ice in this one as we head to commercial here with just under five minutes remaining in the second period. Vegas holding on to a one-goal lead. It's one nothing here. Second period coming to a close. Riley Smith just had a golden opportunity to put the Knights up 2-0, but he fanned on the shot in the slot, which uh, is definitely a big missed opportunity in a game that hasn't had a lot of offense yet. Both goaltenders have played outstanding, big saves at both ends, and uh, it's been a pretty fun, close game so far. So we're here at commercial break later in the second. I want to thank everybody so much for being here. Please remember to subscribe if you are new and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so, so much and are greatly appreciated. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, uh, you are welcome and wanted here, and we'd love to have you become part of the community. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. We are about 270 away now. Um, last time I checked. Yeah, we're about 270 subs away now uh, from 300 or from 4K. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, we'll see if we can uh, get another 300 or so in the next couple of weeks. But it's going to be close. Uh, the Devils haven't played in a while. I don't remember the exact date, but it's pro it's probably been more than two weeks since the Devils have played. Uh, it's been a while. So, yeah, they, they need to get back playing again as soon as possible. Uh, TV timeouts are probably about a couple minutes, but we're back already. And that shot right off of the faceoff there from the Avalanche gets smothered up there by Flurry with 422 left. And we'll have another offensive zone draw for the Avs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has been at least two weeks since the Devils played j Dog. It's been a while. Johnny, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. One back there. Another shot. Big time stop by Flurry. Yes. Uh, Devils haven't played in a while because they had they had 21 players on the COVID list at one point. Uh, they have a lot less now. A lot have come back. But they were uh, they had a massive outbreak in New Jersey. As now here come the Golden Knights. Oh, uh, Mikhail, five minutes. Timeouts are, when you get timed out of a chat, it's five minutes. As now Vegas through the neutral zone. Stone gets it into the offensive end, but Colorado takes it right back. Devon Taves able to clear. Pucks back in the neutral zone. Vegas will try again. Pacioretty dumps it in. Three and a half to go in the second period. Yeah, basically the Devils' entire team was on the COVID list for the most part uh, at one point. They're not anymore, but they were at one point. They've had a lot of guys come back, though. They, they, I think they're going to play on Tuesday night. I think they're supposed to play Tuesday. Tuesday or Thursday should be the Devils' first game back. 
Unless they get like another t positive or something like that, which would then delay it even more probably. Uh, three minutes now remaining in the second is Colorado's trying to break out of their end. Vegas keeps it in though. Hey, completely fans on the shot, but that got the defender down. Now he goes around, now makes a pass. Hey, thank you, Johnny. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, Avi, that's supposed to be the Devils' first game back Tuesday against the uh, Rangers. That is correct. We'll see if it happens, though. Long shot there, and Grubauer makes a big stop through traffic with two and a half remaining in the second period. Vegas holding on to the 1-0 lead, but Grubauer is making sure that it stays only at 1. Uh, no, the out, both outdoor games this year are at Lake Tahoe. They are on a golf course in Lake Tahoe. There will be no fans there. Uh, it will be a scenic, uh, it will be a scenic picturesque background behind the rink with the mountains and the lake in the back. Um, and that's where both outdoor games are this year. As Colorado now into the offensive end, threw everybody, Brandon saw it and he just can't finish it off. Vegas trying to clear now back the other way. They come out. Petrangelo jumping into the play. Loses it off his stick and then gets it back. Connor Timmons falls down in the corner. That's going to allow the Vegas four check to get on it. And they come away with a puck. Backdoor chance here. And they just can't get it past Grubauer. Long shot there. That one's blocked. And Colorado gets it out all the way back to the Golden Knights end. Final two minutes now of the second period. Vegas still holding on to the one goal lead. In the offensive end now, Petrangelo with a shot. Saved by Grubauer. Rebound gets cleared by the Avs. After it now and out of the zone. Vegas trying to bring it back in. The puck gets deflected in neutral ice. Dumped in now deep. After it though, first is Graves. Graves out there now with Devon Taves. A minute 25 remaining in the second period. Vegas cycling in the offensive zone. Moved up now by the Avalanche. They bring it into the Vegas end. Donskoy going in on the forecheck. Long shot there. Grubauer with a big stop through traffic. 50 seconds left in the period. Vegas throws another one on goal. That one gets blocked. Colorado trying to clear. They get it up and out as Vegas goes for a line change. They'll regroup back in their own zone here. Under 40 seconds remaining. Two on one for the Knights. Pass. Pass back in. One too many passes there for Vegas and they can't finish it off. 30 seconds left in the second now. Colorado up ice. Vegas regrouping back in their own end. Chances after chances here for Vegas and they can't put it home. Grubauer plays that to Graves. Graves goes off the boards, but not out of the zone. Vegas still with 10 seconds left. And that one's a turnover from Pacioretty, but pass was behind him. Thrown in on Flurry. The horn's going to sound. That is it. End of the first. We had a big hit there at the end of the period. And we're going to head to the second intermission. A 1-0 game here between Vegas and Colorado and only the third period remains. We will see if Vegas is able to hold on to this lead or if Colorado is able to come back and win. But it is 1-0 here at the end of two. And I really, really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you haven't. Helps out so, so much. I cover the entire league, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. And I uh, really appreciate all of you, uh, all of you being part of the community here at Off the Wall Hockey. Um, yeah, um, so haven't seen Robert O since the playoffs last year, Logan. So I, I don't know what happened. I mean, I have really no way of contacting him or anything. And uh, I haven't seen him since the, uh, since the playoffs last year. Um, 
Seth B. Seth B. stopped in a couple times, but said that he's not allowed to donate anymore. So Seth B. has been in a couple of times uh, over the... I think he stopped in one or two streams so far this season. Um, but he said he wasn't allowed to donate anymore. Um, yeah, Devils obviously have way less games played than most other teams. So uh, if they win those makeup games, then they could gain some ground. Caroline says 3-2 Vegas. Let's go. I don't even know if there's going to be that much scoring in this one, Caroline. I really don't. Um, yeah, I have no idea, Logan. I, I remember, you know, that he was talking about his mom being in the hospital. I know that he, he had already lost his wife. Like, his wife had passed away when he was here last year. So uh, I, I really don't know. I have not seen him at all this season. Uh, really, since the finals ended last year, he is or uh, not really fully like a year ago, but when the finals, the 2020 finals ended in, Oct in September, uh, I haven't really seen him since. Uh, yeah, both goaltenders have been playing very, very good uh, in this game, Art, without a doubt. Yeah, you're right. Seth B. did say that he had a kid on the way. So um, there's probably a good chance that he's not donating hundreds of dollars in a YouTube stream anymore and probably spending that money on his kid. Uh, I would say that's probably what's happened with Seth B. For sure. Kids are very expensive, for sure. All right, beer's gone. I'm not going to get another one because I'm probably going to bed pretty soon after this. Because, again, like I said, for those of you that weren't here, I was up until 3 a.m. last night. Um, I <laughs> can't even really say last night. 3 a.m. this morning, I was still awake. Um, but that was my own fault. I was having a night with the boys and ended up staying there till 2.30, which was absurd. Uh, but it was a fun night. But uh, probably not the best idea when I was streaming two days, two games the next day. And that's how you know that I'm tired because I start talking like an idiot and mixing words up. Yo, HTH is here. What an absolute legend, John. Thank you so much for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Huge shout out to John from Hot Take Hockey. Kid is an absolute legend, supports this channel so much. So I hope you guys support HTH as well. Um, make sure that you're uh, subscribed to him. He does phenomenal hockey content on YouTube. Personally, my favorite hockey YouTuber. And I uh, really appreciate you being in the chat, John. Oh, yeah, I know Marinchin is on the taxi squad now. Oh, my. Imagine he... Imagine he plays a game. I will be like, I, I'm not a Leafs fan. Like, I'm not a Leafs fan at all. Like the Leafs are one of my team's biggest rivals. I would be physically angry if Martin Marincin plays a game. I like, I literally would be angry and I don't really like the Leafs aren't my team at all. And I would be angry if Marincin played a game for the Leafs this year. Like, if he's going to play a game this year, it should be in the ECHL. That's where it should be. Hey, thank you for the shot updates, Vernon. We're here at the second intermission, 20-17 to 17 in favor of Colorado. And I forgot to change this to INT. We're here at the second intermission. Golden Knights holding on to a 1-0 lead. This has been a close, tight game. Great goaltending from both goalies. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see who walks out of here. Yeah, but Justin Falk is a high-end talent, Jack. Like, Justin Falk was a really good player early in his career with the Carolina Hurricanes. Like, he was the captain of the Hurricanes at one point for a reason. Justin Falk should have been playing the way that he is right now the entire time. Martin Marincin is not a high-end talent. He's the exact opposite. He doesn't even belong in the league. So 
It's to two totally different situations. Marincin is not a high-end talent like Justin Falk is. Marincin's not proving anybody wrong. He's absolute trash. Yo, Nick, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it, man. Glad you could hop on. We're here at the second intermission. Colorado and Vegas, it's a 1-0 game right now, and it's going to be close right down to the end. I have a feeling that this is going to be a really, really tight, tight game. Yeah, but THG, they're not mods. They're not like actual mods. Robert O and Seth B were not made like real mods that were supposed to like police the chat. They're... They're, they were just made mods because out of respect because of the massive donos like they're not actually mods like I'm not looking to, for them to to police the chat. Uh, Ducks fan what is going on welcome to the stream yeah it was just out of honor for those two they're not actual mods. Um. Ducks fan, thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We got a big third period coming up between these two teams. Colorado and Vegas, 1-0 Golden Knights heading into the final frame. Um, who is better, Marincin or CeCe? CeCe. CeCe is better than Martin Marincin. CeCe belongs in the AHL. Martin Marincin belongs in the ECHL. Like, they both stink, but CeCe's better. Yeah, I do remember that, Jack. I do remember that very much. It was pretty funny. Loved ripping into CC for that. Uh, he's he's a fun guy to make fun of for sure. As is Martin Marincin. Yeah, it was probably Brandon THG. He literally, I don't think he's been on a stream this season. I don't think Brandon's been on a stream this season. Like, he's he's very, very close to being unmodded. Like, if there's anyone, if there's anyone that would get unmodded, it's him. Because th some of the older mods are OGs, so I'll probably keep them as mods just out of respect, even if they don't really come here much anymore. But if you were like the first two or 300 subscribers, you're like, th those, those guys are modded just out of respect. Brandon was made mod during the playoffs last year. And then like, as soon as he was made mod, just stopped showing up. Yeah. Yes, Logan. And I don't think he's been on a stream yet this season. I don't think I've seen him yet this year. So he's definitely the top, most likely to be unmodded person right now. Oh yeah, S S S Lindell for sure THG is one of my favorites. The only difference is Lindell's actually a good defenseman. Like I like I absolutely hated him. Uh I absolutely hated him because like uh because of that diving, but like he's actually a good player. Whereas Marincin is not. <laughs> Yo, Master Shane, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. Sasha says it's time for the abs to score. Yeah. Yeah, Logan. Yeah, he, I, he's just never here. So, uh, like, I don't, I don't mod people for them to not show up and actually be part of the channel. Like, he hasn't, 
not only not only has he not come to streams and i get like he lives in a weird time zone but like there's afternoon games sometimes like he could easily come to an afternoon game but uh i get that he lives in a weird time zone and may not be able to make a lot of streams but he still he still um doesn't comment on videos. I don't even think he really watches the channel anymore. I haven't seen him on anything. He's not active really in the Discord, as far as I can tell. So, if if that's going to be the case, then there's no reason for him to be mod. Yo, Vaughn is here. What's going on, Vaughn? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. Um... All right, see ya, Avi. Thanks for watching, bro. Really appreciate it. And I'll be doing Islanders Sabres tomorrow for sure. So we'll definitely see you tomorrow for that game. We're getting ready for the start of the third period here. We'll see if the Avs can come back or if Vegas holds on. This is going to be a fun third, though. It's been a low-scoring game, but there's been a lot of chances for both teams. They just haven't been able to solve these goaltenders. The goaltenders have been tough. Kevin, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. It's great to have you here. Um, yeah, I'll be doing the aisles tomorrow night, Kevin. So um, that will hopefully be a really fun one. Uh, no, Vaughn. Come on. Is that's not that's not even a intelligent question, Vaughn. Nobody is dropping Connor McDavid in fantasy. He leads the NHL in points. Like, Jesus. Of course not. Yeah, Bruins have a night off. Actually, Bruins have quite a bit of time off. Boston won't play again until Thursday against the Devils. So, um, Boston's got what sunday monday tuesday they've got four days off here um and then they'll play this weekend against the hopefully the flyers in the outdoor game on sunday hopefully philadelphia is back in time for that um but they they're supposed to have the outdoor game on sunday as well but boston has four days off here montreal has a full week off how did i miss i didn't even notice that jack how did i miss that on the schedule Montreal has a week off. Jeez. Yeah, let's see. No Canadians tomorrow. No Canadians on Tuesday. No Canadians Wednesday. Wow, no, you're right. Thursday, Friday, no Canadians. Saturday. Do they? Yeah, they come back Saturday the 20th. They come back Saturday the 20th to play Toronto again. So they really do have this week off for the most part. Cool. Oh yeah, makes sense then, uh, Jack, for sure. So... Canadians don't play until Saturday. They pretty much they have a full week off. Well, yeah. Well, the the Flyers break is a little bit different, Matt Shane. That wasn't naturally built into the schedule. The Flyers aren't playing because of COVID. They've got they've got COVID issues right now. So that's why the that's why the Flyers aren't playing. Unless you mean like later in the season. It, But that, that's not naturally built into the schedule. The Flyers were supposed to play today against the Rangers, and that didn't happen. Yo, Nick is here. Twisted Rister. What is going on, Nick? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching. Really, really appreciate it. I don't get to see the West very often, so it's nice to have Vegas and Colorado actually on national TV and a chance to actually see some West action. 
But uh, yeah, he's trying to get to 4K by the end of February. Gonna do a, bi a big giveaway if we do. Um, I appreciate you stopping on, man, and, and coming to uh, coming into the chat. I really do appreciate it. We'll see if the Avalanche can come back and get this win, or we'll see if Vegas holds on to things here. But this has been a very tight game all the way through for sure. Very good goaltending from both goalies as well. Uh, Brian, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. Game's been very tight. It hasn't exactly been the most exciting hockey, Brian, but it's been a very tight game. And as you can see, it's a one goal game here heading into the third. So uh, it's still up for grabs. Either team can win it. And uh, it's going to be an exciting close end of the uh, end of this end of the game here uh, yeah I think these divisions have been really fun Shane I love them I absolutely love them the the whole Canadian division thing is awesome having all the Canadian teams playing each other the East division is an absolute juggernaut there are so many good teams there um, the the West is cool you know with you know Colorado and St. Louis moving over to play against Vegas on a regular basis um the centrals actually you know having there, there's been some quick rivalries built in the central as well um i just i i think it's worked out really well i think it's worked out really well for this season and they had to ge they had to do it for ge geographical reasons but the hockey's been really fun to watch too uh, yeah, no, Flurry. Flurry hasn't been overly tested, but he's made a lot of big saves. He's made a lot of saves that I thought, you know, that could have easily been a goal. And uh, he he's made some he's made some nice ones. Grubauer's made some huge saves too. Um, I've been really impressed with him tonight. Grubauer's off to a phenomenal start this season. But it looks like we're getting ready to start the third period here, guys. Oh, yeah, Boston uh, Bruins fan, yes. Bru uh... Hockey isn't as physical as it used to be, to say the least. But the rivalries have definitely started to build this season, for sure. As these teams play each other more and more, you're really starting to see some rivalries build up. Yeah, Grubauer has been very good. Very good for Colorado, uh, Nick, for sure. But we are lining up here at center ice, getting ready to start the third period. Vegas with a 1-0 lead. Please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't. It helps the channel a ton. I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team uh, you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. We are underway. Third period has begun. Vegas in the offensive zone. Colorado trying to get a quick breakout. They do. Miko Rantanen. Long shot there. That one goes wide. Hey, Victoria. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Moved into the middle there. Cleared out by Vegas. They chip it to neutral ice. Don Scoy now into the offensive zone. Colorado looking to tie this game up early. Burkowski shot there from the middle. That gets blocked on the way through. Gets it right back. Another shot block in front. Vegas trying to clear now. They get it out. Pacioretty in, trying to bring it into the offensive end. He dumps it deep. Yeah, Ducks fan. I'm really all. I'm 100% with you on that. Absolutely. Though I did not like those gold helmets at all. So we're a little over a minute into the third here. Stolen by JT Comfer. Colorado with possession now regrouping in their own zone. Uh, yeah, that's already happened multiple times, Hope Glory. Um, that's why the Bruins have four days off without a game as well. 
uh, because they were supposed to play tomorrow night, but the Devils aren't playing tomorrow, so it's uh, healthy teams are getting breaks, as, extended breaks as well because of teams that are not healthy right now as Flurry has a little bit of an adventure out of his net there. Second chance as well, and that one gets stopped. Flurry somehow keeping the puck out, and Cody Glass gets it finally for Vegas and can take it out of the crease. Holy cow, what chances for Colorado. Just not able to get it by Marc-Andre Fleury. Colorado now, wraparound chance. Not able to tuck it. Ends up in front. Kept in the zone, though, by McDonald. Top of the circle now. Face off, dot shot. Off the pipe, he rings post. Colorado has come so close to tying this game up. In behind the net now, both teams digging for it. Magna in there. Coughlin in there. Pucks in the corner. Colorado in the offensive end, trying to get this game tied. Uh, Logan, it, it, they're totally different shows, and they're totally different things, Logan, so I really can't compare them. I, I wouldn't say like either of them better or worse than the other is. Here we go into the offensive end. Shot there! It was a two-on-one, but... Nicholas Waugh's shot gets gobbled up by Grubauer. Johnny, welcome back. Thanks for coming in and watching. Appreciate it. Grubauer with a nice save there to keep this a one-goal game on the two-on-one. Waugh's shot gets, uh, gets smothered. I still can't believe Colorado didn't get the puck in at any point here in that scramble in front. And then McDonald comes into the face-off dot and rips one that goes off the outside of the post. Ozone faceoff now for Vegas. About three minutes into the third period. They're up by a goal. They would love an insurance marker. Martinez keeps it in the point after the faceoff win. In the far corner now to the half wall. Colorado trying to break it out. They're going to. Here they come up ice through the neutral zone. Three on three into the Vegas end. Chance here now in front. Again, Colorado with a shot and that one goes wide. Matthew, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Vegas clears it out of their zone now. Bow and Byron back to play it. Brandon Saad with a pass back now. Colorado's going to get a line change, so they just regroup in their own end. Uh, basically, Bruins fan mods police the chat. If there's any trolls, anybody coming in making inappropriate comments, any spammers, uh, anything bad or that violates the rules in the description that anybody does in the chat, the mod's job is to police and moderate the chat and make sure that those people are taken care of. Vegas now, right back into the Colorado end. Zach Whitecloud can't get it super deep, though. Get some help, though. Here's Vegas, pass into the slot, and it's right between the legs, and now Colorado's coming out the other way. Three on three into the offensive zone. Kadri sends it deep now behind the net. Pucks in the corner. Burkowski after it. Digging away along with a couple of Vegas players. Ticking down towards 15 minutes to go in this game. Moved up and out now. Nicholas Haig dumps that in for the Golden Knights. Grubauer tries to chop it down behind the net. Colorado takes possession out of their zone. Through neutral ice now and in on Flurry. Flurry passes it back off boards the other way. Colorado takes it back at their own blue line. They'll try zone entry again. Vegas once again stops them. Pucks in front of the Vegas bench now. Colorado with a chance to enter the zone with cleanly. They have it. Bowen Byram shot that gets blocked. Pucks down in the corner. Colorado cycling it now in the offensive zone. Russell, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Back to the point. Graves, long shot. Flurry smothers it, and the rebound gets pushed away there by the Golden Knights. High off glass and out of the zone. That's going to be icing against Vegas, though. But they're just happy not to give up a goal there. 
holding on to the one nothing lead. Marc-Andre Fleury has been absolutely stellar in net. And Vegas is up 1-0 still, but it's going to be an offensive zone draw for the Avalanche coming up. Avs win the faceoff back. Splits the D and comes out of the zone, and that's going to be an offside as they bring it right back in. It was Devon Taves, and that's going to lead to a neutral zone faceoff now. Face off one back again by the Avalanche, but it goes all the way back into the, their own zone. Connor Timmins now starts the breakout over the red line into the offensive end. Here come the Avalanche. Ranting with the puck, cuts to the middle, loses it off his stick right into the crease area, but nobody could get anything on it. Avs try and keep it in, and they're offsides again, bringing the puck back into the zone. We'll have another whistle here with 13.50 remaining in the third. And we're going to head to a commercial break. Our first commercial break of the third period. 1-0 Vegas still trying to hold on to this lead. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Would really, really mean a lot and uh, helps the channel a ton. Trying to get to 4K by the end of February. I cover the entire NHL. So no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. And looks like we uh, have gained a couple new subscribers this uh, this stream here. Nothing, nothing huge, but at least a few more. I think three or four more. Um, I appreciate you guys all being a part of the community here. Is we are in this third period, mid stages of the third period, with about thirteen fifty to go. Uh, in this third, and Vegas holding on to this one goal lead. We're still at commercial break here. Hopefully, we get back underway here shortly. going to be a fun end. Colorado is getting chances. Colorado is getting chances. They have not been able to solve Marc-Andre Fleury though, who has been absolutely phenomenal in this game. And Philip Grubauer has been phenomenal too. Uh, just a, a great game for him as well, but uh, it's really been a goaltending battle. There's been chances for both teams, but the goalies have come up huge. The only difference is that one match patch ready shot that got by Grubauer, and that's been the only goal of the game so far. Here we go. Colorado now back in their own end. Move through the neutral zone now. Bowen Byram trying to get it into the offensive zone and they get it in deep. Colorado after it. Vegas starting the breakout though before Colorado's forecheck can get in there. And they bring it now into the offensive zone. Pass across there. Fanning on it's Marcheseau. And Grubauer holds the post on the rebound. Marcheseau takes the puck, though. He's got it on the sideboards. Now Colorado digging for it as well. Colorado comes away with it. McKinnon can't clear. And now on the second chance, they do get it out. Here come the Avs now. Into the offensive end. Looking for the game-tying goal. Puck's down in the corner. Back out to the blue line. Nobody home, and they have to go back and chase it to their own end. It's going to allow Vegas to get fresh legs on the ice. Ticking down, 12.40 now remaining in the third. Puck up into the neutral zone. Avalanche not able to dump it in. They'll have to try again on the near side. And that gets deflected up and out of play with 12.33 left. And we get another stoppage here. Neutral zone faceoff coming up. Neutral zone draw here outside 
Or might maybe they'll put it right at center. We'll see where this draw ends up. It's that puck was shot from the neutral zone though, and up and out of play on a deflection. And they do. They put it right at center ice. Barrett, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Here we come now into the offensive zone. It's Vegas. Fourth line on the attack. Colorado trying to get it out, though they do. Magna over the, over the blue line, and Vegas has to retreat into their own end and regroup. Brought up here. Reeves chips it by. Carrier now into the offensive zone. William Carrier. Looking for a pass. He gets it back to Nick Holden. Holden with a shot. That gets blocked down in front. Holden with another shot. Blocked again. It doesn't get through. Colorado tries to clear it, but not able to get it all the way out. Sent back in deep here by the Golden Knights. We're down to 11.45 remaining in the third period. Vegas holding on to a one-goal lead. Long shot there. Colorado trying to clear their end. And now Colorado gets it out. And they bring it up, and that puck deflects off the near glass. Vegas just going to regroup now in their own zone as they get a line change. Colorado fresh legs as well. Over the red line, Vegas dumps it in. Timmons sends it right back, though, for the Avs. Hard in after it. Colorado's able to exit their zone, however. Into the offensive zone. Donskoy stops and turns around. Stone on the back check steals the puck. Can't clear the zone, however. Now he'll try again, and he does get it out. And Chandler Stevenson, uh, Grubauer way out of the net, pokes it away. Stevenson almost had a breakaway there. Great, great play by Grubauer to poke that away at the last second. Ten and a half now to go in the third. Avs breaking out of their zone through neutral ice. Into the offensive end now. Trying to get this game tied up at one. Vegas looking for an insurance marker. 1-0 Golden Knights so far with about ten minutes to go in this third period. Shot there. That one goes way too high. It must have been deflected by uh, from Tuck. And with 10-16 left in the period, we're going to get a, a face-off coming up here. As that puck goes out of play. Mark Stone almost gave Chandler Stevenson a breakaway there, but Grubauer comes flying out of the net and is able to poke it away at the last second. Offensive zone draw for the Golden Knights. One back by Vegas. They keep it in the offensive zone. 10.05 left in the period. And maybe the game, depending on how it goes. Ryan Graves behind the net takes it for the Avs. He can't go up the boards cleanly, though. Vegas keeps it in. Behind the net now and now in the corner. March or so. Spin around move. Behind the net. Vegas. Back out to the point. Petrangelo long shot. That one gets blocked by a wall of people in front. Four guys standing in front of Grubauer there. Avs finally clear. Now they bring it into the offensive end. McKinnon. He stops. Tries to turn around. Vegas is all over him though. McKinnon somehow keeps possession for the Avs though. Avalanche still in the offensive end, and then Saad with a shot, and that one gets blocked, and the Golden Knights are finally going to be able to clear. I have no idea how McKinnon was able to keep that puck for so long. It's your boy. What is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Puck's down in the Vegas end, and that's going to be another whistle here as that puck goes up and out of play. We have 9.09 .09 remaining in the third period. We are going to head to another commercial break here. We are going to have a very, very exciting finish to this game, without a doubt, as these two teams are only separated by one goal, and they are getting both getting significant chances here in the third. So we're here at commercial break. I really want to thank everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet and subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out a ton. And uh, I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you are a fan of, you are welcome and wanted here. Hey, happy birthday. Or happy early birthday. It's your boy. 
Thank you guys all so much for watching. Remember, I cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted. Trying to get to 4K subs by the end of February, and uh, we've got about 270 to go to for us to hit that mark. Again, I think it's a bit of a stretch. I don't think it's, I don't think it's probably going to happen, but uh, it would be really, really cool if we did hit that. And if we do, if we hit 4K subs. Uh, by the end of February, I will be doing a giveaway at the beginning of March. And uh, I don't want to say what the give what's going to be in the giveaway. It's going to be kind of a prize pack type thing. I want to keep most of it a secret, but I will tell you this. There will be at least one autographed picture from an NHL player uh, in the giveaway package. So uh, it's going to be a fun giveaway for sure. Hey, it's all good, man. No problem. Yo, Twisted Wrister, Nick with the five. What an absolute legend. Thank you so much, man. Really, really, really appreciate that. Everybody, get that dono hype in the chat. Nick drops a five on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Here we are now. Avs in the offensive zone. Vegas trying to clear it. We are back underway with nine minutes to go in the third. Down in the corner. Nice check there. That one shot. Oh, that just goes wide of Flurry. Cleared out off the end boards. Colorado will try again. They're entering the offensive zone. Get it in deep and go after it. Comfer on the four check. Logan O'Connor now. He takes a hit. Colasar trying to get it out for Vegas. Sends it back to his defenseman. Breakout is complete. Up to the blue line. But Colorado coming back the other way now. Burakovsky leaves it for Donskoy. Donskoy up to Taves. Into the offensive zone. His pass gets chopped down there. But Donskoy gets a chance. And that one just flutters wide. 8-10 left in the third. Vegas trying to hold on to this one goal lead. Colorado... They're looking desperately for this game-tying goal. Taves into the offensive zone. He backhands it wide. Vegas clears the other side. Back to neutral ice. Now into the offensive end. Stevenson after it first. Takes a hit from Byram but moves the puck. James, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciated. That's brought in now by the Avs. They're on the forecheck again. Putting on a lot of pressure here, trying to even the score. Pacioretty, not able to clear the zone. Long shot there. That one just goes wide. Puck's end, puck ends up in the corner. Into the offensive zone now. Pacioretty shot. Grubauer with the glove saved. Rebound chance, and Grubauer covers that one up in the crease with 7-19 remaining in the third. Offensive zone draw for the Golden Knights coming up. They would love an insurance marker. Colorado knows they need to tie the game. A lot of back and forth action in this one with great goaltending from both teams. We'll see which team's able to hold on, on and get the win here. Come out on top in the final few minutes. Hey, thank you, James. I appreciate that. We've got 7.15 left in the third now. Colorado trying to get it out of their zone quickly. They do. Vegas has to tag back up to get on side. Colorado gets a free breakout. Over the red line now and into the offensive end. Timmons can't get it uh, with possession though. And Vegas sends it right back out the other way. Now Colorado from their own zone. Can't get it cleanly through the neutral zone. Vegas does a good job standing up here at their blue line. Colorado can't really get sustained pressure in. And now here they come, two on one up ice, Riley Smith looking for a chance, pass across, and that one doesn't connect. Colorado's going to come back the other way. Tired bodies on the ice for both teams. Six and a half to go in the third. Vegas holding on to a 1-0 lead. Puck's in the corner now, Colorado after it, Belmar in there. Trying to get this game tied up. Long shot, easy blocker stop for Flurry. Cross ice pass. 
Stop down in front, though. Who's going to find it in the dangerous area? Shot. Huge save there by Flurry on Belmar. That was a dangerous shot, and Flurry finds it somehow. Out of the zone now. Vegas able to clear. 545 remaining in the third. Golden Knights retake possession back. They're trying to hold on to this one goal lead. Fourth line out now for Vegas, and what will probably be their last shift of the game. Colorado takes it now. Up through the neutral zone, over the red line. Not able to get it in deep. Now they do get it in deep. Vegas trying to get a quick clear. They're not able to. They'll try again on the near boards. They send it up, but not out of the zone. Colorado keeps it in again. Here comes Nishushkin on the forecheck. 5.05 uh, remaining now. 5.05 left in the third. Brought in here by uh, Vegas. They're hard after it. Cody Glass, but Ryan Graves takes it for the avalanche. He goes up and out now into the offensive end. Onside play. Vegas steals it, though, on the back check. And Vegas sends it into the Colorado zone. Colorado right back the other way, though. Knows that they need a goal. Rantanen with a shot. Shoulder save by Flurry. Hand pass called here against the Golden Knights. 4.36 remaining in the third. And that puck's going to come back down to the Golden Knights zone. And Colorado's going to get an offensive zone faceoff out of it. Flurry with some spectacular goalkeeping here to keep this game 1-0. Vegas holding on to the lead now as we head to commercial break. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hey, now, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Glad to uh, have you in the chat as always. And uh, have a good night. Have some, I hope your chicken and rice comes out uh, great. Remember, guys, please subscribe if you are new. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so, so much. Cover the entire NHL, so no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. And uh, we're trying to get to 4K subscribers by the end of February, and I'll be doing a giveaway on the channel if we do. So that one is gonna, that's going to be a whole lot of fun. I really, really appreciate everybody watching the second stream of the day for me. I did Washington and Pittsburgh earlier, and uh, this has been a fun second game in a totally different way. That, that Washington-Pittsburgh game was very high scoring, and you had a lot of action up and down the ice and a lot of goals. This game has been very tight check, more defensive tight checking. There's been a lot of chances, though. It's been more the goaltenders are the reason that this game is only 1-0, because both goalies have been absolutely phenomenal in this game. Uh, Kyle, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Colorado definitely has a chance. Uh, they've had a lot of offensive zone time, but Flurry is stopping absolutely everything right now. So it's going to be interesting to see. They've still got a little bit of time left, though, for sure. Savage, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really, really appreciate it. We've got an offensive zone face-off coming up for the Avalanche here. The goaltending in this game has been... Ab You're 100% right, Russell. It's been superb. A-plus level goaltending from both goalies in this game. As that's going to be a quick icing against the Golden Knights. And that's going to come right back down to their end. And the Avs will get another shot at this offensive zone face-off with four and a half minutes remaining. Uh, Logan, I get if they keep winning, it's possible. I mean, I think that fourth spot in the West is pretty much completely up for grabs. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. I'm not sure which team is going to get it. I still probably lean towards Minnesota, but it, it, there are multiple teams with a chance for that fourth spot in the West. Colorado keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Vegas will try another breakout on the near side. They go up and out now. Taken away, though, by Devon Taves. William Carlson has it now, though, in the neutral zone as he takes possession back as Taves fell down. Thrown in by Vegas. 3.50 remaining in the third. 
Under four minutes now remaining for Colorado to try and tie this. Devon Taves is just back in his own end. Now a pass up through the neutral zone. Into the offensive zone. Here come the Avs. Chance in front there. Don score just can't get a stick on it. Yeah, there haven't been a lot of penalties called in this game, Russell. You're absolutely right. Very limited number of power plays. As here's Kadri trying to get it to the net, but it's poked away. And it's clear now. Vegas out of the zone. Here they come up ice. Chandler Stevenson two on one, and he loses the puck. Pass across, though. Somehow still connects. Trying to get it now back to the point. Shot from Haig. That one goes high off glass. Vegas trying to ice this game with an insurance marker. Under three minutes now to go in the third. Long shot from the point. That one goes well wide. Grubauer not able to cover it up. Vegas keeps it in the offensive zone. Haig goes high off glass as it gets deflected. And now here they come back the other way. Colorado's able to exit their zone. Vegas takes it back in the neutral zone, though, and throws it right back into the Avs' end. McDonald from around his own net. He's going to come with speed through the neutral zone, into the offensive end. Takes a hit, but gets it deep. 11-20, or what am I saying? 2-20 now remaining in the third. Vegas still up by one goal, one nothing game. In the offensive zone, trying to put an insurance marker past Grubauer. Also just trying to make sure that they hold the lead. Ilan, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you stopping in. Two minutes remaining in the third period. Colorado struggling to get the puck even into the offensive zone. They're back in their own end. And you've got to think that Grubauer is going to be coming to the bench here. Very, very shortly. Looks like he's going to come as soon as the Avs get it into the offensive zone. And here they are. Offensive end. Grubauer to the bench. We've got an empty net. Avs net is empty. Vegas able to clear it to neutral ice, but not all the way down. Colorado will regroup. Looking for the game-tying goal. Down by one with a minute 23 remaining. Into the offensive zone now. Chipped out, though, quickly by the uh, Vegas defense. A minute 15 now left for the Avalanche to tie this thing up. Andre Burakovsky has the puck through the neutral zone into the offensive end. He can't maintain possession, though, and Vegas sends it all the way down. And that goes well wide of the net. That's going to be icing, 102 remaining. Hey, Red Rubber, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping in quickly. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. We're going to get a timeout here from the Avalanche with 102 remaining. They're going to have an offensive zone faceoff here. Offensive zone faceoff for Colorado. A minute, two left. They're down by a goal. It's 1-0 Vegas. They need to score. Let's see. This is going to be a frantic ending here for sure, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Remember, guys, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. It helps the channel a ton. And is very much appreciated. I cover the entire NHL. So no matter what team you're a fan of, you're welcome and wanted here. Abs have taken their time out with just over a minute remaining. Yeah, Colorado's definitely been a little rusty dude, Durham, for sure. First game back, as you would expect, they haven't been able to, uh, they really haven't been able to get much going offensively. D. Wade, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated. Nolan, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. Great to be, great to see you in the chat. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We've got a frantic final minute ahead of us here as Colorado is desperately trying to get this game tied up. It is 1-0 Vegas with a minute and two seconds remaining. Offensive zone draw for the Avalanche. They've got six skaters on the ice. The net is empty. Vegas wins the drawback defensively, but can't clear the zone. Ran in with a shot that just goes wide. See you later, Jack. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Trying to get a pass across there to Rantanen. It's loose in front. Vegas trying to get it out. Here they come. Up ice. Trip down there. No call. What? Wow. No penalty call there against Colorado for tripping down uh, Stevenson. And now Colorado brings it back into the offensive zone. Vegas clears again, though. Back to neutral ice. Colorado back in. 
Running out of time here. 25 seconds left in the third. That shot gets blocked. Vegas coming back the other way. On goal, just wide there. Just missing the net. Now Stone throws it. That gets blocked. Final 10 seconds of the game. Colorado, one last chance in the offensive zone. McKinnon trying to get it in the corner to the front. That gets blocked back behind the net. Two seconds. Vegas eats it. Game is over. The horn sounds. And that is it. Vegas wins 1-0 over the Colorado Avalanche. And that is how this one will end. What a fun day of hockey. And what a great goaltending battle this was between Philip Grubauer and Marc-Andre Fleury. Fleury and the Golden Knights come out on top 1-0. And uh, that was a frantic end to the game, but Colorado just couldn't get it past Marc-Andre Fleury tonight, who had an absolutely phenomenal game, made some huge stops, particularly in the third period. And um, that was just absolutely awesome. So whew, two games, finished it up here. Both. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow night for the Islanders versus Sabres. Thank you so much, Nick. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really means a lot to see you here in the chat. Thank you guys again. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't. It really, really does mean a lot and helps the channel a ton. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And uh, I will be back tomorrow night with another stream, Islanders versus Sabres. And that is going to be a fun one at 7 p.m. So... We'll be right back doing this again tomorrow. It's definitely been a long day today doing two games, but it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys all so much. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow, and hopefully I'll see you in the chat tomorrow night. I am definitely going to go to bed now. Fun day of hockey nonetheless, so really appreciate all the support, and I'll be talking to you guys very, very soon.